she's one of the most committed people I know. Um, in preparing for the third Harry Potter, Alfonso Cuaron, the director, asked each of the young actors to prepare to uh, write about their character. And Daniel Radcliffe wrote a page. Uh, Rupert Grint didn't write anything. <laughs> and Emma wrote a 15-page essay, <laughs> not unlike Hermione. She brings that commitment to everything that she does. I mean, when she takes up yoga, she just doesn't just do yoga. She doesn't just take it up. She becomes a qualified yoga instructor. Um, she's a wonderful actress who has worked with some of the finest actors and directors today. She has also used her profile to, in the fashion industry, to shine a light on the issue of sustainability. She has, through her book club, Our Shared Self, introduced hundreds of thousands to feminist literature. And as Justine just talked about, as UN Women Goodwill Ambassador, she has dedicated herself towards the empowerment of young women and been a tireless advocate for gender equality with he for she. She has the modesty and the bravery to ask the difficult questions and to demand that we do better. So it's with great pride and a real honor, ladies and gentlemen, to present Harper's Bazaar Woman of the Year in 2016 to Emma Watson. So much. Um, it's been an amazing couple of years for me. I, I really <laughs> didn't think I had it in me <laughs> to give that speech. At the UN that I made about he for she two years ago, I was utterly terrified. I mean, really, really bricking it. And um, <laughs> it's it's been in those moments that some really inspiring women have tended to pick me up, scrape me up off the floor, and say, I know you're terrified, but you can do this. And I want to dedicate my award to the women that have done that for me and that do that for other women all over the world. Um, one of those women is my sister-in-law, who in the last year, uh, I had to audition before Alan Menken for Beauty and the Beast for Disney, and um, his right-hand assistant, Cos. And I was quite literally in the fetal position on the floor after I gave this audition, just going, what have I, why did I think I could do this? Why did I think I could do this? I can't do this. This is utterly terrifying. And um, she sent me a YouTube video of uh, Mariah from The Sound of Music. And so I want to read you the lyrics that were in the video that she sent me because they inspired me and I hope that they will inspire you. They said... Mm -hmm. 